happy last Friday of the week of 2022, and happy, a happy official last Friday of our first semester at Sycamore Junior High this school year. Today is January 7, 2022, and I'm welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Marsh. And I'm Nikolai. Thank you for joining us today. And now it is time to unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart as we say to pledge of allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. We've got some great news today and some very important message from Mr. Brenner and Mr. Labrico. But first, did you know? On this day in 1610, Galileo Galilei discovered the first three moons of Jupiter, Io, Europa, and Ganymede. And in 1714, the typewriter was patented by Englishman Henry Mill. That was built years earlier. Finally, in 1954, was the Georgetown IBM experiment. The first public demonstration of machine translation system was held at IBM's head office in New York. Oh, pretty interesting news. It's amazing that Galileo could see three of Jupiter's moons on this day back in 1610, or over 400 years ago. Also, it's pretty interesting that we still use typewriting skills from over 300 years. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, now let's check out yesterday's survey results. I asked you guys if you preferred ebooks or physical books. It looks like the majority of you prefer physical books more. Yesterday's riddle was, a man ran away from home. He turns left but keeps running. After some time, he turns left again and keeps running. He later turns left once more and runs back home. Who was the man in the mask? The answer is the catcher. The batter was ru running the bases, and when he ran home, he saw the catcher at the plate. And the riddle for today is, one of these words does not belong. Which is it and why? Brawl, carrot, change, clover, proper, sacred, stone, 70, swing, and travel. The answer will be given on tomorrow's daily announcement. Our fact of the day. Did you know that today is National Bobblehead Day? That's pretty cool. I know. I had no idea that we even have a thing called National Bobblehead Day. Yep. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Ophelia S., Aditya U., and Lamar R. And hope you have a great day and an even better year. And our weekend birthdays are Sunav A., Miriam C., David P., and Noah T., as well as Mrs. McKenney and Mr. Wolkoff. Now onto our standing and intelligent Mr. Harris for our important activity information. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. Yes, it's Friday, finally here, all right? Uh, just a couple quick announcements. First of all, no international club today. Uh, please check your email to Google Classroom for an, op uh, for an optional uh, meeting opportunity for the week. And also, Monday, uh, on September, January 10th and 11th, 3.15 to 5.30, Willy Wonka Junior tryouts, all right? Make sure if you're auditioning, you fill that Google form out. You got any questions, see Mrs. Stein or contact Mrs. Rosen. All right, that's all for me today. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on Monday. Next up, we have a very important message from Mr. Brenner and Mr. Lavercombe. All righty, good morning, Sycamore Junior High. Hope you guys are doing well. It's Friday, uh, one week left in the quarter, and we got a big long weekend for you all coming up here in one week. So Mr. Brenner and I are here to talk to our eighth graders specifically uh, about freshman camp and transition to the high school, which is going to happen next Thursday, Thursday, January 13th. So you guys are going to be receiving some communication via email, but before we get to that, I want to make a few key points. Um, so on the 13th, you guys are going to be leaving your second bell class right around uh, 9, 10. You're going to load on the buses near Interstate 71 outside the Black Gate where they always are. There'll be 10 buses. You'll be assigned to a bus out of your second bell class since that's where you'll be leaving. And then you will take that bus over to the high school. On the bus, it is a state law right now, state law that every single student must wear a mask on the bus. So if you wear a mask to school every day, you've got nothing to worry about. 
If you sometimes forget it, you're not going to want to forget it on the 13th. Bring your mask to school as you must wear it on the bus. Again, we're going to be sending an email out to all 8th graders that's going to have your group for when you get to the high school of where you're supposed to go. And the fine folks up at the high school will direct you on where to go there. Check your email also for your bus assignment. That is key so you know what bus you are on. But again, you'll be coming out of your second bell class. And, and I can't reiterate this enough, and this is not related to the 13th, but if you're not feeling well, folks, please stay home, uh, regardless of what you have. If it's a scratchy throat um, or, you know, heaven forbid that you do have COVID, you need to stay home because we want to make sure that you get well and return to school as soon as possible. So before I turn it over to Mr. Brenner, um, again, the mission of the 8th grade boot camp or freshman boot camp is to get you guys acclimated to the high school and they have construction going on too so it's going to look very different than say your older siblings when they went there uh, assist in the mental and emotional transition from the junior high to the high school begin to build a positive attitude instill that school spirit i know they're going to be doing a lot of team building and abe's building activities while you're there promote collaboration through that team building and, and most importantly have fun it's going to be a good time a good way to spend a few hours at the high school becoming familiar with the building. Mr. Brown. All right, the high school wanted me to share a few things that you need to keep in mind for the 13th. First and foremost, what are you going to eat? They are going to provide a pizza lunch for everybody. However, if you do like to just pack, you are welcome to do that as well. Um, we're doing all the transportation, as Mr. Labracombe already said, um, to and from the junior high to the high school. However, if you are in the, in, in the boat where you have an appointment maybe already scheduled for that day um, and your parents needed to pick you up, they are welcome during the time you're at the high school to pick, up, pick you up from there. So they'll just check into the main office at the high school and we will find you and get you going. Um, <clears throat> eighth grade students will report and be dismissed from the junior high at regularly scheduled times, meaning you're still going to come to the junior high in the morning and you're gonna leave the junior high at the end of the day like you normally would any other time. There's no need for eighth grade students to bring anything. That's including your cell phones. You do not need to bring your cell phones up to the high school. Prefer that you put those in your backpack and then locker. That's gonna be important. And with that question, you might be saying, what do I do with all my stuff when we leave around second bell? Everyone's going to put their stuff away in their lockers. And then when we return around sixth bell, you'll go back to your lockers and retrieve your materials. Uh, eighth graders will receive an Abe's t-shirt upon arrival. So keep that in mind. You'll be encouraged to wear that throughout the day while you're at the high school. You should dress for a day of movement. So they will do a lot of team building activities. You guys are gonna be moving all over the place. So they suggest comfortable shoes, comfortable clothes, and again, you're going to put another t-shirt on top of that, so just keep that in mind. Um, the day of, if for any reason um, your name was left off the list that we email you guys next week for your group numbers, uh, we will put you in a group that morning. You do not have to worry about it. The high school will get that taken care of. Um, another thing that's really important, when you get those family group numbers, you need to stay in that group. You cannot just skip from group to group saying, oh, my friend's over in this group. It will make the day not run smoothly. So you have to, it's very, very important. Next week when you do get those group numbers, you start to memorize it and know where you need to go. All righty. So we've thrown a lot of information at you there. Again, the two key points I want to reiterate. One, the goal is to have fun. And two, while you're at the high school, you are representing not only the junior high, but your teachers here and also yourselves. So you want to put your best foot forward. Um, as you make your way to the high school. First impressions mean a lot, so you want to act appropriately, uh, be respectful, be safe, and be responsible up at the high school. Uh, not worried about that. You guys are an awesome group, and I know you'll have a good fun and you'll learn a lot. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Thanks. Okay, Anna and Regis, what's for lunch today? Welcome to today's daily lunch segment with Aunt Regis and Anna. Today for lunch, there will be a rice bowl with the usual burgers, pizza, and chicken tenders. And if you are planning ahead for Monday, there will be a dill-flavored chicken sandwich. Have a great day. That's all we have for today. Don't forget to check the SGH communications classroom for today's daily survey, as well as check those emails. Okay, now for the joke for today. What streets do ghosts haunt? What street? Dead ends. Ha 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 ha. Go away.